All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. Very compelling matchup for fight fans around the world. It's going to be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the takedown. Well, he's going to try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get the fight to the ground? Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. All right, so there's the only takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so there. He felt like he had a massive advantage in the wrestling, and if he attempted takedowns, he would secure him. Let's see what he does from this position. Overeem's going for the sub here. Nice hammer fist. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the Oh, he got him real good, too. Good. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment. Oh, swept the leg beautifully to get the takedown, DC. Mr. Miyagi would be very, very proud of that sweep. Great job getting into your position and finding that beautiful takedown. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Curtis Blades. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that power to the kill shot. That's what they call it to go and end the fight. and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Gets up again here, but hurting. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh! There it is! It's over! 